All right, the Flash XML drop-down menu tutorial. Now, of course, this is just a uh, sample video. This is not the entire tutorial. Uh, we're just providing you a snippet to get an idea of what the full tutorial looks like. You can find that full tutorial on masterflash.net. Uh, you can either run a search on the site with Flash XML drop-down menu, or you can just feed through the uh, Flash tutorials that we have on there, and uh, you should be able to find it. All right, we need to say new. Menu underscore controls, opening parentheses, opening quotation marks, menu underscore links, dot XML, closing quotation marks, closing parentheses, uh, no, no, I'm sorry, not closing parentheses, comma, this, closing parentheses, semicolon. All right, so what we're doing is basically by saying new, all right, menu controls, this is what's allowing us to call our action script file. All right, and then uh, what we're saying is menu underscore links dot XML is going to load inside of this flash file with the menu controls. All right, so that's basically how that's said. And that's all we have to do for that action script. Uh, the next step is for us to uh, create the movie clips that we're going to have display as our menu that is going to get called from action script. So uh, let's go ahead and set that up. I'm going to go ahead and grab a gradient from in here. All right, with my rectangle tool. I'm just going to draw a little bit of a rectangle here. All right, I'm going to size this up with my transform, free transform or my gradient transform tool. All right, I'm just going to make this a little bit grayer. Lighten up this black. All right, once I have that set up, I'm going to uh, resize this a little bit. I'm going to set this back to about 180. All right, I'm going to set the height up to about 20. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to make this to size here. All right. Okay, so go ahead and grab that, copy it, paste it underneath of it. And with this one still selected, let's go ahead and lighten this one up a little bit just so we can determine which one's the uh, sub, nav sub navigation uh, as opposed to the uh, top navigation. All right. And obviously, you can make these whatever color you want. I'm just going to do it so uh, we can see it a little bit better. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and throw some text up here on the stage. Go ahead and grab some dynamic text. All right, I'm going to use 12. I'll use that gray. And I'm going to make sure this is centered. All right, so once I have it set up, I'm just going to kind of click and drag a text box on the stage. And center this up on the art. Okay, so once you have that set up, let's go ahead and put it, let's go ahead and put an instance name on it. And I'm going to call this XML underscore text underscore titles. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and copy that, paste it down here. All right, I'm going to leave this the same instance name. All right, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab both of these and come down here and select character embedding, which will allow me to actually pull in the, the bold setting that I have. All right, so once you have that set up, go ahead and select it. And uh, we should be good to go to turn these into movie clips. All right, first, I'm just going to label this top navigation. sub navigation I might need to change the text color on this top one make it a little bit lighter all right there we go okay so let's go ahead and select the top navigation text and art so let's go ahead and uh, hit f8 I'm gonna call this top underscore nav underscore MC and go ahead and uh, drop your advanced settings down here and we're gonna export this for action, action script all right, I'm going to leave the class name the same. I'm going to leave the base class as a movie clip. And once you have that set up, just go ahead and hit OK. And uh, if you get an action script warning, don't sweat it. All right, so once we have that done, we can go ahead and delete this off the stage. And oh, one quick uh, note. I'm making these the same width, all right, so that they uh, you know, show up as directly underneath of it. Now, what some people like to do, obviously, is either shrink this down to have it show on the left side. Uh, which would, of course, you know, sort of look like this, right? Or like that. However, I'm just going to uh, make this centered up, okay? All right, so go ahead and grab your sub navigation, F8, convert it to a symbol. Let's call this submenu underscore nav underscore MC, export for action script. All right, make sure it's the same name as our movie clip name. 
and uh, set this up the same way. Let's go ahead and hit OK. All right, I'm going to go ahead and delete that off the stage. Now, I just want to double check my uh, library to make sure we're all set up with linkage. All right, looking good. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and hop inside of our ActionScript file and uh, write the little bit of code that we have. Okay, and of course, basically set this up the same way. Package, opening bracket, next line, import a few items. Flash.net.url loader, semicolon, import flash.net.url request, semicolon, import flash.events.event, .event, semicolon, import flash.display, no, wait a minute, import flash.events, I'll keep these together, dot uh, movie clip. Oh, I have this the wrong way. Not events dot uh, mouse event. My bad. Semicolon. Next line. Import flash dot display dot mo movie clip. There we go. Semicolon. Import flash dot net dot navigate to URL. Semicolon. All right. And for those who are somewhat unfamiliar with this, this allows us to either call in our XML file. All right. And of course, the import URL request will also work along with the uh, navigate to URL to uh, open up external links, etc. All right, the mouse event and the event are basically the things that allow us to work with, uh, you know, event listeners, stuff like that. You know, any kind of uh, event that's going to take place basically allows it to work. All right, import flash dot display dot movie clip allows us to work with movie clips on the stage with instance names, etc. You know, and uh, for what we're doing, we're going to end up generating action or movie clips through ActionScript based on the XML, so that's basically what allows us to do that. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get down to the next line, set up our public class. And right here is where it needs to be the same name as your ActionScript file. Opening bracket, next line, okay. And what we're about to do is we really need to create our XML name, all right, and we need to create an array that is gonna hold on to the data from our XML, all right. All right, that is the end of the Flash XML drop-down menu sample video. To locate the full video tutorial and source files and everything related to it, you can find it on masterflash.net. Hope you enjoy it.